Hey everyone, Zach Rivelet here again to give you a quick tip on how to throw the ball more accurately. This episode of Rep Baseball is brought to you by your host, Zach Rebelay, sponsored by Rep Sports Academy. Subscribe down below, give us a comment, like, share it with your friends. We're trying to get this channel out here. I'm trying to teach everybody everything that I've ever learned through the game of baseball, playing Division I, Junior College, NAIA, having a dad who played professionally, uncle who played professionally, uh, just trying to get you guys the best information possible. So today, we're gonna go over a quick tip that's gonna help all of you throw more accurately in one little trick, okay? So first thing is, is we wanna throw with four seams. This is four seams right here. This is two seams. See the two seams? Four seams. So the first thing we wanna do is anytime we throw the ball from the outfield or the infield, we wanna throw at four seams. It's more accurate, it stays straighter. A two seamer can run. Um, if you get around it, it can cut as well. Uh, so four seams is the straightest you can throw it. It's also the fastest. Uh, it cuts through the cuts through the air faster than a two seamer will. Um, less drag. So <clears throat> we always want to throw with four seams. It's the most accurate. So one quick little tip for all of you: if you play outfield, infield, catcher, whatever it is, we want to get four seams every single time we throw the ball in a game. So the way we work on that is: you can sit here at home. I'm at Red Sports Academy here um, <clears throat> just to do this this video, but I can do this, you know, sitting on the couch. Get your glove. Get the ball, toss it in the air, come out with four seams every time, okay? At first, you're gonna throw it up and you're gonna struggle and you're gonna try to find it and you have to look at the ball. Eventually, you'll get to the point where you toss it up, don't even look, four seams, right? It's all about feel. Um, so you guys can work on that when you're sitting at home. That'll make you so much more accurate uh, and it's just an easy little fix. Work on it when you're sitting there in practice doing nothing, pull out four seams every time. So there's a quick little tip for you guys. Um, eventually, as you get better at it and you don't have to look, eventually in a game, you'll, you'll get one off to the side and you'll learn how to throw that ball to make it straight. <clears throat> so what I mean by that is, if I catch ground ball and I don't get four seams when I pull it out, right? And you have to stay in rhythm whenever you throw a ball uh, after fielding or you know <clears throat> catching a fly ball, you have to stay in rhythm. So we don't wanna get out of rhythm just trying to get four seams, right? So let's say we catch ground ball and we're in rhythm and we never get that four seams. Eventually you'll get good enough where you grab a ball slightly wrong and you'll be able to throw and know exactly how to make the ball spin four seams still. Okay, so that's pretty high level stuff. Um, I know I've grabbed balls sideways before and then thrown it and still got it to backspin four seams. So there you go guys, quick little tip. Sit at home, flip it around, catch it, pull it out, four seams every single time. Whether you're catcher, Infielder, outfielder, four teams every time.